So you created your model and you run your file, but bam, there is an error. What happened? Well, you'll find that out in this video. Hi, I'm Kushal and I love making content for you to build upon your passion. This is an entire series on STAD. This particular video is the final episode on the beginner's guide to STAD. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I'm providing a link in the description below. Please go and watch them. Otherwise, you'll feel lost at some point or the other on the topics which I've already covered. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Your love and affection is the only reason I spend so much time and energy into making this awesome content for you all for free. So please help me out by smashing that subscribe button and also the notification bell that pops up. Now, if you have already watched my previous videos, you have a pretty neat idea as to how to create a model. But creating a model is only half the battle. In this video, we'll look upon the third key stage of any start project, which is the post modeling stage. But before we jump into that, let me walk you through the three basic concepts of this stat software. So when you're creating a stat project, you're dealing with three important things. The first is the input. The second is the output and the third is the design part. Now I have talked about all this in my previous video on what you need to know before learning stat. I'm linking that in the description below. Please go and watch that. But just to brief you, the first stage that is the input involves the modeling process. So the work which we have done till now in our previous two videos fall in the realm of modeling or the input. So we have our input ready, but the next is the output. Output is the result fetched by the start engine based upon the loads and the geometry and the supports which you have provided in your modeling stage. So you get the deformations, you get the reactions and so on. But the process is not done there. Output or the results are again only one part of the whole equation. The final or the main reason why you use start is to design anything. So you have your inputs, you have the outputs or the reactions or the, the forces which are generated on the body. The third and final part comes into the design where you actually design your structure. So we have dealt with the input part in our pre-modeling and the modeling stage. In this part, we'll deal with the last two, which is the output part and the design part. Now I'm not going into the details of everything. This is just to give you a roadmap of how you can build upon a stat file. So let's dive into it. So let me go to my desktop and open the project which we created yesterday, which is the cantilever. I'll click on this cantilever.std file. This is the stat file. I'll just click on it to open. And this is your structure right here. So we have done the modeling part till now. Just to quickly brief you, we went through the setup. We went through the geometry. We created the beam using the nodes. We went through the general where we created a property. We created the support and we created the load. So we have created a dead load, which is a uniformly distributed load of minus 10 kilonewton, which is basically 10 kilonewtons acting in the negative Y direction. So if you have followed my previous video, you know, we move from top to down. So as you can see, we have two points left. And as I described earlier, we have only two basic concepts to cover. So the first one is analysis. Once you click on analysis, you find this window popping up. For now, I'm just asking you to leave everything. All you need to do is create an analysis. So once you click on this add button, just pay attention to what happens here. So once I click add, as you can see, there is this perform analysis command included. I'll just close it and I'll go to this stat editor file and quickly show you what happens here as well. Don't worry if this is not making any sense. I'm just trying to bring out one key point here. Just try and focus on the points I'm trying to show you. So if I'll just move down into this input file of ours, you see again here, there is one key code, which is perform analysis. Now what happens usually with beginners is that they create this perform analysis command for once, 
but later if they do the editing part they again walk back through following the same steps go to analysis and then add that command again now once you do that if you find me running this analysis again you'll see i have a warning so all you need to remember is you don't have to do this perform analysis more than once so once you have created the analysis command it's good enough so i'll just go ahead and delete this command now there are three tabs inside the analysis command itself one is the preprint one is the postprint for now you don't need to worry about the preprint and the postprint you just have to include one analysis command which tells the stat that you have to actually analyze the structure for giving you the outputs once you have done that now if you run your project instead of getting the error which we, we were previously getting without running the analysis this time we get no errors no warnings and the entire file has been processed and analyzed now there are three ways of going about this structure now the first is you can go to the output file so this is an a file which i'll just show you in a minute the second is go to the post processing mode this is the analysis part which you will be able to see in a more uh, visual way and finally you can stay in the modeling mode and design the structure too let me first show you what the output file looks like i'll click on view output file and i'll click on done so this is what your output file would look like now i haven't really done anything in the output or i haven't actually asked for anything in the output because if you remember when we went to our analysis we we asked for nothing to be printed instead if we had done perform analysis all i'll just click add i'll close this and i'll go and delete the previous command once i do this i run analysis again by the way you can use this uh, short key control f5 now if i go to the view output file you see a lot more results so you have the total applied load so if you go to the total applied load you can see the total applied load load is minus 65 kN so you had 10 kN per meter load udl you have a length of 6.5 so it calculates to 65 kN so you can find the reactions here as well if you look closely this is the total reaction load and the total reaction of course if the load is minus 65 the reaction would be opposite just to cancel it out as per the newton's laws so the total reaction load is 65 kN that makes sense so this is how the output files would look like uh, there would be a uh, many more results for example you can see the external internal load summary so let me close this and show you what the post processing mode looks like now to go into the post processing mode from here just follow this top menu and if you have followed it now you can see this post processing mode here now this will be available only once you have run your analysis and your analysis has no errors so i will click on post processing and suddenly this page control area changes completely now of course you are not creating anything here so there are no rules you can jump from beam to animation to reports first however if you look closely there are two kind of results out here the first is all the values related to the node so nodes are the end points of any beam or member you have created so for every node you will have displacements and for some particular nodes you will have reactions for example in this case we have just support at the left end i'll show this structure from the front just follow along with me for now so this is your cantilever this is the support this is the fixed support and of course the reactions will be here so as you can see these are the reactions so there is no force in the x direction because all the force is from top to bottom so of course you are having the reaction of 65 and again there are uh, no moments generated in the other axis that is the xz plane or the zy plane which we call my and mx all we have is the mz which is the value as shown in fact you can just go and calculate it using uh, the formula which is wl square by 2 and you'll find the same values coming out so after node the post processing mode shows you the results of the beam 
so in the beam you can actually find the force values so these are the force values at the nodes also there are force values inside the beam so we have our beam divided into four equal parts and these are the values on those parts also you can get the stress values and finally you have your graphs ready for you so in this case uh, we'll be having three basic graphs one is the fy which as you can see is a simple triangle you have mz which of course is a parabola and you don't have anything in the fx direction or the fz direction because all the loading is occurring from the y or the negative y direction and finally you can check out the animation as well i'll just show you what the animation looks like so as you can see if you have load if you just fluctuate the load and this is what would happen and finally you can create reports based upon the outputs so i'm not going into the detail of this for now this is just to show you what all is possible now let me take you back to the modeling part so we have covered setup we have covered geometry we have covered general these three were the modeling or the input part analysis command is required for getting the output once you get the output you can go to post processing mode and uh, check out your outputs and finally we move to the design part we click on design and we can build our structure either as a steel structure or a concrete or timber or aluminium or a shear wall for now we just want a structure to be concrete i'll click on this concrete tab and as you can see my data area on the right changes so as you can see my current code is is456 now i'm defaulting to this code just because i have set it just to show you where i set it i'll close this window i'll open stat pro again and like the first video will go into the configuration and in the configuration if you go to start default design codes you can set the various codes for me i have set the stat steel design code to is800 and i've set the default concrete design code to is456 for now i won't be dealing with the others so i haven't changed it for now but you can change it as per your convenience so just accept and apply since i've already done that i'll just cancel out from here i'll open my recent files which was the cantilever structure i'll use this view from z to just to see it from the front again i'll uh, touch up upon everything in very much detail this is just a road map just follow along please so i'll go into the design once again i'll click on concrete my code is already selected i'll define some parameters so again there are two parts to everything one is a creation and the other is the assignment so i'll just define some parameters i'll quickly define my fc value i'll keep this to m25 so i'll just click 25000 i'll click on add i'll go to fy main i'll make this fe 500 so one two three i'll click on add i don't need any more settings i'll just click on this track for now just to show you what the results may look like i'll click ok now if i come to this data area as you can see after the perform analysis print all part which we did previously i have the start design concrete so if you see it logically so we have all our inputs that is the material start the properties the constants the supports the loads we have our analysis or the output part and finally if required we go for the design part now you are seeing a question mark here this is just because i haven't assigned this to my beam yet so i'll just click on fc 25000 i'll click on assign use the cursor to assign default i'll click on assign i'll click it here i'll go to f5 main i'll again use the cursor to assign click on assign click on the beam again again i'll click on track to click on use the cursor to assign click on assign and click on the beam so all my values of fc fy which is the compressive strength of concrete and the tensile strength of steel have been given to this structure which i'm building now everything has not been done yet i need to tell stat 
as to what kind of structure this is because if you go to this geometry you'll see it says add beam but in civil engineering beam is this kind of a structure so if you rotate it by 90 degrees it becomes a column but stad always calls every member a beam so we have to define how we want to design this particular member either as a beam or as a column so for that i'll just go into this area which says commands i'll click on design beam and click that command to add i'll close this let me come back i'll click on design beam again use the cursor to assign click on assign and assign this property so now we have our code set we have our fc fy value set and we have given the command to the start pro to design this particular member as a beam rather than as a column so we are done with the command part now we can go and click on analyze we'll run analysis click on save we'll again go into the view output file click on done and now apart from the previous results of applied loads and the reactions load you see this concrete design i'll just click on it and as you can see my beam number 1 has been designed this is m25 fe 500 and the secondary bars are fe 415 the length is given the size of the beam is given and a default cover has been taken you can change all these values so this is the design load summary and if you move down you can see the actual summary of the reinforcement provided so as you can see stad has recommended a use of four 10 dia bars all throughout so this is the top reinforcement of 325 bars and the bottom reinforcements as 410 bars the stirrups are also given of 8 dia at 300 center to center so as you can see we have quickly designed a very simple cantilever structure but as you saw this was pretty easy to do all you need is a proper sequence to follow so now we have our cantilever beam modeled analyzed and designed and we did not run into any errors i promised you that just to summarize again quickly there are three steps the first is the pre-modeling where you give proper names you grip proper units you define the proper type of structure the second is the modeling where you define your structure so you model your structure you give it a geometry you give it some supports you give it some loading and the third part is the analysis you provide an analysis command just don't miss that and finally we use that analysis or you use that outputs generated from the start engine to actually design your structure to support those loads so that is all you now know the exact sequence of creating an error free file congratulations if you have watched all this content to the end pat yourself on the back because now you know the exact sequence to creating a perfect start structure now of course you won't become a professional structural engineer just by following these steps there are many 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 steps involved and just like being perfect in any other thing you have to give your heart and soul into it but i'm here to help you out throughout the process i'll keep making these videos and again if you haven't subscribed please do so by clicking on the subscribe button also if you like this video or even hated this video or you want something more out of this video please give a comment below i would love interacting with you guys for now bye bye and i'll see you on the next one